girls happy sunday it's always a fun time to be in the presence of god and you know what sunday happens to be one of the days that i love so much because i get to sing for god i get to dance a little bit i get to you know do some games as well as learn the word of god and i hope that you too get to enjoy every single sunday so i want us to go into a time of some dancing but before you do that let's begin with the word of prayer let's pray thank you dear lord for this beautiful sunday you've given us it's always a joy to be in your presence to dance and sing for you and we pray that even as we go on with the rest of our program today may you be with us may you have a great time in your presence in jesus name i pray and we all say amen now stand up and let's get to Dance. At break of day, in hope we rise, we speak your name, we lift our eyes, tune our hearts to your beat. Where we walk, there you be. 
boys and girls how are you doing so good to be with you today but guess what boys and girls today i had my cookie jar and it had cookies and someone stole them and you know what i think it was number one number one did you steal the cookies from the cookie jar me yes you not me then who number three number three did you steal my cookies from the cookie jar no then who number two no i didn't steal the cookies boys and girls play this game with your sisters your brothers your neighbors it's called a blame game and this is the game they played on jesus they blamed him for something he never did boys and girls do you remember last week's lesson? We learned about Judas who betrayed Jesus by kissing him and giving him away to the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now what happened after Jesus was arrested? Do you remember boys and girls when the crowd came with clubs and with spears and with swords coming to take Jesus away? Now, they handed him over to Pilate who was like their president. Do you know our president? Who is the president of Kenya, boys and girls? That's right. Now, boys and girls, they gave Jesus away to Pilate because they knew Pilate would do what needed to be done. But Pilate knew that Jesus was innocent. And you know what he did, boys and girls, in Matthew chapter 27? He said that he's giving them a chance to choose one prisoner to be released. And he knew in his heart that they would choose Jesus. But instead, they chose a criminal called Barnabas. And Jesus had to be crucified. But remember, boys and girls, this was the Father's plan all along. By sending Jesus to the earth, he knew that Jesus would have to lay his life on the cross for you and for me. Now boys and girls, they did horrible things to Jesus. They mocked him. They spat on him as they escorted him to, to be crucified, boys and girls. They put a scarlet robe on him and mocked him and made fun of him. Have you ever been accused, boys and girls, of something you never did? Did you see how number one and number three denied stealing the cookies from my cookie jar? I hope you've never had to be punished for something you never did, boys and girls. How does it feel though? Don't you feel betrayed? Remember the word betrayed from last week? Don't you feel hurt? And that is what Jesus had to go through for you and for me, boys and girls. Now, Pilate knew that the people would not change his mind, change their mind rather. So he handed Jesus over to them and Jesus went through that painful journey carrying his cross all the way to the point of crucifixion now boys and girls that is the lesson on pilot today i'd like to invite one of us with today's memory verse my name is yator mugo waikwa the memory verse for today comes from the book of matthew matthew chapter 27 verse 22 and it says what shall I do then with Jesus, who is called the Messiah, Pilate asked. Let's say it together. Matthew chapter 22, 27, verse 22. And it says, what shall I do then with Jesus, who is called the Messiah, Pilot asked. Yay! Wow! What a nice memory verse. What shall I do then with Jesus who is the Messiah? Pilot asked. Now boys and girls, we have questions this week and this week's questions are different. It's true or false? Are you ready? So first question boys and girls. Pilot asked Jesus questions. That's right, it's true. Before Pilate could pass the judgment, he asked Jesus questions. Pilate thought Jesus was guilty. True, false, true, false, true, false. False. Pilate knew that Jesus was innocent. Next question, boys and girls. Jesus had never committed any sins. True, the Son of God was innocent. 
sinless. But because it was the Father's plan for him to be crucified, for us, you and me, to be reconciled to Jesus so that we can live in heaven with him forever and ever. Boys and girls, there are more questions and more fun activities on the ICC website. Make sure you have a look at that in the course of the week. Ask mommy to help you, ask daddy to help you. And now it's time for money for Jesus. Get mommy, get daddy, get your brother or your sister. The pay bill number is 904-800. 904-800. Wow, it's been so amazing being with you boys and girls. And now I'd like to pray with you. Let's pray boys and girls. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us by your Holy Spirit. Lord, thank you for loving us, that you sent your son, Jesus, so that our relationship with you could be repaired and so that we will live with you in heaven forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Have an amazing week, boys and girls. Bye.